my help has come oh my help has come oh my lifting has come oh Please rise up on your feet. Shall I take a paratu zikatea? In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Shake it. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the and Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one, Psalm 3. Psalm 3, please help us, media. Psalm 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, I just shoot for me my glory, the lifter up of my head. Oh, 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12. From verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison. Intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison. Verse 7. The Bible says, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and they smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself, and bind up thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment before thee, and follow me. Verse 9. The Bible says, And he went out and followed him, and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he saw as though he was in a vision. 10. Hmm. And when they were past the second, the first gate, there were three gates. The first gate brought him out of the prison. The second gate was midway. And the Bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city. Listen to me. This is the gate that stops visibility. There is a gate that stops the visibility of men. It says the gate leads to the city. Your business can be there, but there is an iron gate. Listen. And the Bible says that this gate opened on its own accord. When that gate opens, the next thing you see is the city. It's the gate that controls influence. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, every gate standing my way of influence and visibility, I declare be broken right now. Lift your voice and pray. He has broken the gates of God and cut the bars of iron in thunder. He has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand. You, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4. I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5. And strangers. This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elia are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you. I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute engage in strategic prayer listen the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis they are seasons of prayer and intercession that's not the time to pray morning and evening that's the time to pray anyhow and anytime because you are in a season your anchor will be your prayer hallelujah day and night you are praying lord i don't know what is happening to my life but i'm praying you have your prayer time in the morning you have your prayer time in the evening but every time is prayer time every time is prayer time an evil report your wife just lost her child 
what are you doing i am praying why i'm in a season is any man afflicted james chapter 5 and verse 13 let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call god names and say i will backslide let him pray psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we are reading to four to seven they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse the angel of the lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons but especially this season lord what is happening around my life my wife just got attacked my son just got attacked my job just got attacked i am not understanding what is happening i set myself like daniel onto prayer god grants you grace you can add with fasting add with fasting this spiritual laziness of eating anyhow anytime many believers now fast as a ceremony three days fasting you carry it on your head as if you as if it's, it's 12 years fasting if you love food more than your destiny life will cheat you again and again food is okay oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it there are many of you here you cannot remember i may be wrong i'm not saying you should do it please i'm not saying you should do it but as far as i'm concerned there are spiritual levels that if you get to a week should never pass that you did not fast you are joking you are joking not with what you are doing to hell you are joking seven days ah no Himarama. 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 To the king who sits on the throne, he marama. To the king, listen. Let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer, is gotten while men sleep real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise real men of power contact power when men sleep may god give you the grace to rise above sleep i'm praying from the may god give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you that god can wake you up in the night no light off the light you are praying on a loud distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light you are in the night alone and watch what happens you are nobody seeing what you are doing but there is a register every day you are signing it is the day you get to the stage to preach that's when god will not disappoint you 
don't come on stage and talk nonsense lion of the tribe of judah rose of sharon lily of the valley rose of this and that and that god is not a scammer he's not a magician no track record in the secret place you will flatter yourself to nothing in it in the open please learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night receive grace to dedicate night times and pray god didn't give you a house just to keep things turn everywhere to a prayer altar turn your toilet to a prayer altar turn your living room to a prayer altar when everyone has gone off the television don't pray watching a film even if it's a christian movie you are not praying shut it down lord this is me and you here i don't know what is happening to my life a time will come you feel like just leaning get up and say satan you are a liar i'm going far a time will come your tongues begin to change what you are saying it will never be what you started with you have you, you have entered a level in the spirit tongues are languages and their levels of power contact groanings that cannot be uttered you get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray there are times that only one word one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes pray it you are receiving power is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior don't joke with your destiny like that don't joke with your destiny like that the bible says to enter and shut the door behind you shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret you don't need to have a prayer point you don't need to have a prayer point just stay there and begin to pray and while you are praying your flesh is weak but your spirit is willing Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment there are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch my brother and my sister if you pray from your heart some things will shift you will wake up in the morning and know i shifted this through prayer there are attacks that only prayer can challenge pray for me pray for me is wonderful but you must become the priest of your destiny can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes Salabakata. Senagandas Kamahasabash Rakata Pakato Sopakoto Sheketelekata Emprata Seneketo Shanikata Tasete Shanahas Kabaratos Rekete Ketekete Skabarakatos Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come Lord I'm in a season of my life I cannot afford to be lazy I'm in a season of my life I cannot allow my prayer life go down it's too risky not for this season not for this season this is the wrongest time to be prayerless this is the wrongest time to be prayerless
Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray, pray outside, pray. Who sits upon the white Who the king sits upon the white Shela bakata rekotosia Imarama Imarama To the king who sits on the throne, be my Rama. To the king who sits on the throne, Eshena Bala, Ele, 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 Ele. Hela barata katosh abrande katela katosh ekata brakatosh kane kata brashana kata karuse sene ketosh ala tosh ke mahasa. Woe to them who are ease in Zion. Woe to them who are ease in Zion. Who sits upon the white horse? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen strengthen pray i say strengthener they that trust in the lord shall be as mount zion which cannot be moved but abided forever next verse as the mountains are around jerusalem so the lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever next verse for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity next verse do good O lord unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts we are reading till the last verse as for such as turn aside in their crooked ways the lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity but peace upon joshua selman prayer gives you stability in the next two three minutes you are going to pray and say lord let this prayer stabilize me i shouldn't be shaking over everything i should be able to laugh at certain storms and say jesus is lord lift your voice and pray stability power stamina
the Lord is my light and my salvation the Lord is the strength of my life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone we're doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access 
I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness shall die even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I cause you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where I'm coming from I prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life lift your voice and pray altars associated with territories associated with territories I come against you by the God of heaven I come against you pray pray I come against you Hallelujah. 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 
please help those under the anointing hallelujah listen there are some of you your prayers were answered since many years but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you an altar lifts up we are going to call it back are you ready to pray self time in the name of jesus every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy i call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the god of wonders on for right the god of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries hallelujah hallelujah you are going to call the name of your family members listen i don't care how many call it listen you are going to call them one by one and say i stand as an altar and i bring you out of this dungeon lift your voice and pray call them call them call them Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Forget man and my confidence. hallelujah hallelujah say in the name of Jesus be serious say it again in the name of Jesus I speak to the East I speak to the West I speak to the North I speak to the South everywhere my favor is in the name of jesus i command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is
Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Lord, I invoke the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please I don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here that, no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede for warfare, I command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened, no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger 
we were closer than this and something happened Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Shalakosi Akata. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names, everyone hearing me and standing here, whether inside or outside, you have prayed. If there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life, at the count of three, I command those altars to catch fire right now. Please get ready, the power of God will come on people. One, two, three. I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim. That altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I judge those altars now. 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 By fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job. They tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception. Everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category. But in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside following online. Anyone who has been a victim. Of total failure and disappointment. Right now in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them please. Total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege 
Mante lekos kata bris kalado shikre ataka. I'm declaring. Anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny, anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon every lady now, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause lungs around your body, those lungs, those worriness, I cut it by the God of heaven, I cut it by the God of heaven. hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online or offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. A time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me i'm hearing in my spirit yoruba people yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that god is bringing now to yoruba people you know how god acts as i'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory i place the word of god now in the name of jesus let that sword of deliverance i command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance i command it now inside and outside in the name of jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. 
anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, i command that mark to be erased from your life now i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I say it again, I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and i decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist mary to get pregnant he showed up and said i was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant i declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus let me pray finally for your finances I believe in God's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working I want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor God's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job i'm talking of a system in the spirit where god will lift you in a way that will make you afraid i decree and declare now as i'm praying for you i'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency i pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now in the name of jesus christ listen listen i've shared with you my encounter i've seen that spirit that they call mammon i've seen it I've shared it here some years ago when I was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden I saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything doable 
there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny help us in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus